Welcome to the Cary Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the Doors 32 Doors for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module 3 of 16, Set Network Configuration. Network config allows you to set up communication parameters between the host PC and the controller network. There are two ways to communicate with the access control network, either through a COM port communication through direct serial connection or a modem, or TCP IP communication using an Ethernet device connected to the local or wide area network. Each requires different set of parameters use one method of communication or the other, but not both. To access the network config screen, open the setup system window by either clicking on the toolbar button or from the pull down menu, choose setup and then click on system. Then click on the network config tab within the setup system window. If you're using a COM port, select the COM port the PC will use for either direct connection or a modem connection. The COM port settings can only be COM 1 through 4. If you are using a USB to serial adapter, make sure it is assigned COM 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the Windows Device Manager. Supported brands at this time are Keyspan, Belkin, or IO Gear. All must be Windows 7 compatible. Port settings and parameters should be left at the default values. Enter the PC modem phone number. The PC modem phone number is only required for the dial out enable feature. Follow all of your local dialing rules when entering the phone numbers. If required, enter a one plus the area code and then the number. The dashes are not required. Then enter the access control network modem phone number. This would be the phone number of the device at the remote end of your connection. Enter a modem initialization string only if you have unique conditions that require changes to the default modem initialization string. Otherwise, leave this field blank. For additional security, you may enter a PIN number. The PIN prevents accidental overrides and hacking by preventing other software installations of doors from accessing the site and the master controller. The PIN can only be changed while connected to the master. Then click the Save button. If you close the window without saving, the changes are lost and must be re-entered. After you save the communication settings, you must close and reopen the doors program. If the host PC will communicate with the master controller via TCP IP, you must set the network connection information differently. Select the TCP IP option from the ports column and note that the TCP IP configuration must be performed with the assistance of a system or network administrator. Enter the server's Ethernet port number. This default value of 10,021 should be changed only if it conflicts with another device on the computer. Enter the remote site TCP IP address. The address must be an industry standard dot notation and the IP address must be static. The static IP address must be obtained from the IT administrator. Carry Systems will not help set network configuration parameters. Only an IT administrator is authorized to configure his or her network. 
Enter the remote site's Ethernet port number. The default value is set to zero. It will need to be changed to the value specified by the remote site's Ethernet device if you are using the LAN 50 or LAN 500 series device, change the port number to 10001. If using a LAN 100 device, use port 3001. But the LAN 100 is an obsolete product and no longer supported. It may be present in older systems. LAN communication is explained in more detail in its own training presentation. For optional security, you can enter a PIN number in the PIN number field. The PIN can only be changed when connected to the master controller. Then, when all the information is entered, click the Save button. If you close the window without saving, your changes will be lost. After you select and save the communication settings, close and reopen the DOORS program. This concludes Module 3 of 16, Set Network Configuration.